Hey everyone, while we still rely on coal, crude oil, and liquefied natural gas for our energy needs, wind and other forms of renewable energies are gradually replacing fossil fuels. Companies around the world today are designing new types of wind turbines that are more effective and efficient at harnessing energy. So today we're going to take a look at the top 15 most interesting types of wind turbines. Let's begin. Number 15. Vortex Bladeless while the massive blades are synonymous with wind turbines, there's a company out there looking to flip the narrative a little bit. Currently in the development stage, the Vortex Bladeless was conceived and created by a Spanish-born but now Boston-based team, the Vortex. As the name would suggest, the Vortex Bladeless is like a bladeless turbine designed to generate electricity by oscillating in the wind. So instead of spinning around like a giant propeller, which is a risk to local avian wildlife, the bladeless will vibrate and move back and forth to harness the kinetic energy. Now, this cooled wind turbine has zero gears and zero bearings, which reduces manufacturing and maintenance needs, meaning it's a much more affordable option and it's respectful of both nature and neighbors. Best of all, its semi-rigid fiberglass design looks far sleeker than your average telephone pole. The bladeless is composed of two main parts, a fixed base where the device is attached to an anchor, and a flexible mast which, acting as a cantilever, interacts more freely with moving fluid in an oscillating movement. Now, as mentioned earlier, it's got no gears or moving parts in contact, so it doesn't need oils or lubricants as the typical rotary machines do. These features make them closer to solar power's features and makes them more useful for distributed energy. But make no mistake, these rely solely on the wind, and a linear alternator transforms the mechanical energy into electricity. Number 14. Windspire Vertical Axis Wind Turbine a vertical axis wind turbine is a type of wind turbine where the main rotor shaft is set transverse to the wind while the main components are located at the base of the turbine. This arrangement allows the generator and gearbox to be located close to the ground, facilitating service and repair. The best thing about them is that the vertical axis wind turbines don't even need to be pointed into the wind, which removes the need for wind sensing and orientation mechanisms. But so much convenience comes with a few drawbacks, especially in earlier designs. There is a significant torque ripple during each revolution, and the large bending movements on the blades add a little too much extra stress. Later designs address that torque ripple by sweeping the blades in a helix motion. Savonius vertical axis wind turbines are not widespread, but their simplicity and better performance in disturbed flow fields compared to small horizontal axis wind turbines make them a good alternative for distributed generation devices in an urban environment. Got all that? Windspire creates tall and slender 30 by 4 foot vertical axis turbines powered by a thin propellerless rotor that can survive wind speeds of 105 miles per hour, and they come out looking unruffled and unscathed. They're an incredibly cool design, and one that's pretty easy on the eyes too. Number 13. Tire Wind Made out of carbon fiber, the wind turbines from Tire Wind are truly like no other. The two vertical axis wings of the Tire Wind Turbine are 5 and a quarter feet in length for a total sweep area of about 11.7 feet, and they look just like a bird flapping its wings in the wind. This relatively compact size is less than the sweep area for a typical three-bladed horizontal axis wind turbine made for residential use. And the tire turbine's rated power output of one kilowatt is also a bit less. So why this specific look? Well, the turbine is said to give off less noise pollution compared to conventional wind turbines, be safer for migrating birds, be less visually obtrusive, and allow for a higher density of turbines in a wind farm configuration. Tire Wind already has plans for a large-scale version of the turbine for use in either onshore or offshore wind farms, but for now these little guys get the job done on a more residential scale. This turbine's design is based on the movement of the wings of a hummingbird, and that bird also stands out for its speed and efficiency in flight too, beating its wings more than 80 times a second as part of a technique that allows them to stay in the air using smaller amounts of energy, just like these tire wind turbines. Number 12. Nature Power 2000 Marine Wind Turbine Power Generator What's really cool about wind turbines is that so many companies are manufacturing models for personal and residential use, and the next entry on our list is just that. The Nature Power Marine Wind Turbine is a great option for all those eco-friendly folk who live in their especially wet and windy areas of the world, or are looking for a turbine to position in or by a body of water, or even on a boat. It brings offshore energy home to the somewhat average consumer. The turbine has three carbon fiber blades and a body made of durable cast aluminum, 
It's also got over-speed protection, too. It's totally splash-proof, and it's able to withstand inclement weather. It's small, but it is pretty mighty. This turbine is suitable for charging a 24-volt battery system for off-grid land and marine applications, and it's got a cut-in speed of 7 miles an hour, meaning it's only good for fit in fairly windy areas. Withstanding a hurricane, this thing will not, but on the flip side, it's pretty easy to install this turbine because there are just five parts. That said, you'll also need a decent amount of cash as this model is quite a bit pricier than other wind turbines. The turbine comes with a three-phase synchronous generator that can charge a 12-volt battery, and with an inverter, you could use it to power a laptop, phone, tools, or lights. In optimal conditions, you may be able to generate enough energy to power a small home or several home appliances. Number 11. Windmax HY400 500 Watt Residential Wind Generator Kit Another mouthful, another take-home turbine is the Windmax HY400. A five-bladed model, the Windmax HY400 can generate 500 watts at maximum output, meaning this is a good model if you're only looking to power one or two devices rather than a whole home. Or you could set up a few of these to power a small home, given enough space. To reach that maximum output, you'll need wind speeds of 27 miles an hour, which can be pretty scary if you're out in the wind. But to generate any power at all, this turbine needs wind speeds of at least 5.6 miles per hour. This turbine's got nylon and reinforced fiberglass blades and an electromagnetic overspeed control system to prevent surges in high wind conditions, typically over 60 miles an hour. The Windmax is particularly good paired with solar panels as it can operate at 650 watts when combined with a solar array. Now, to get this thing set up, you'll need a battery pack and a pole about 25 feet tall. The turbine comes with a controller and wire measuring about 30 feet, so don't plan to mount this thing any higher. But the Windmax HY400 is a solid option for anyone dipping your toes into the water of wind power. Reliable and efficient, with little maintenance required, this turbine can help offset some electricity costs. But don't expect it to power a full off-grid system. Number 10. My SE 16.0 there was a time when the Minyang Smart Energy, a Chinese wind turbine manufacturer, had the honor of owning the largest wind turbine in the world. The Mai SE 16-242 is an offshore hybrid drive wind turbine with an almost 800-foot diameter with 390-foot-long blades. In all, this behemoth turbine has a 50,000-square-foot swept area. This thing can pretty much handle anything, and it's designed for high winds, including Typhoon class. It's also said to have the industry's largest rotor as well as the highest nominal rating. One turbine alone can generate up to 80,000 megawatt hours of electricity over a year, which is good enough to power more than 20,000 homes. By comparison, the company's previous turbine model produces 45% less energy, so it's quite a leap forward in the wind turbine innovation field. This turbine's designed to have a 25-year lifespan throughout which it can eliminate over 1.6 million tons of carbon dioxide compared to coal-fired power generation. This is the first of Minyang's new 15-megawatt-plus offshore product platform and will be continuing to roll out prototypes and upgrades in the years to come. The company's goal is to develop a range of model variants that are adaptable to different offshore environments, from the constantly windy North Sea in Europe to the typhoon-prone South China Sea. Number 9. Automax Windmill DB400 Wind Turbine Generator Kit Why are these all named with a mouthful? I'll never know. But the Automax Windmill DB400 is another solid wind turbine for anyone looking to use wind power for smaller appliances, like a string of lights, a pond pump, or something similar off-grid, because we can't let all of the big corporations have all the fun and make all the money. With a maximum output of 400 watts and a built-in charge controller, the DB400W wind turbine is budget-friendly and pretty easy to install. It's made especially for marine and land use as it's coated with protective agents against saltwater corrosion and UV. The Automax has an automatic braking system to prevent surges during powerful gusts of wind, so while it won't power up the entire home, it can protect itself from blowing out, blowing up, and blowing away. As long as you don't stick this little turbine out in a hurricane in hope of max power, it's not going to go anywhere. Number 8. 2000W 11-Blade Missouri General Freedom 2 Wind Turbine And the names just keep getting longer. Available with different battery power and 5, 7, 9, and 11-blade configurations, the 2000-watt 11-Blade Missouri General Freedom 2 Wind Turbine is a great choice for home, and a wind turbine that can actually power your whole home. Designed and built in the United States, this turbine from Missouri Wind & Solar is really one of the coolest you're going to find. The metal components are galvanized and the hub is zinc-plated, so these parts won't rust and won't need any special paint or coatings, which can usually be toxic. 
The turbine should last for up to 50 years under normal conditions and, according to the company, require less maintenance than most turbines. With the full 11 blades, this upgraded model is a great choice for areas with a lower wind speed as it can reach maximum power output at just 15 miles per hour wind speeds. It does require a cut-in wind speed of 6 miles per hour though. These carbon fiber blades are built to withstand up to 125 mile per hour winds and are guaranteed for their lifetime under normal use. This turbine packs a lot of copper in the PMG rotor, which means greater power generation with up to 2000 watt output. When it comes to personal wind turbines, it really doesn't get any better than this one. Number 7. V236 15MW The V236 15MW from Vestas is capable of producing an astounding 80 gigawatt hours every year, enough to power around 20,000 homes, displacing more than 38,000 tons of CO2, which is the equivalent of removing 25,000 passenger vehicles off the road every year. The turbine has a 47,000 square foot swept area and a nameplate capacity of 15 megawatts and a 25 year lifespan. This thing stretches a huge 918 feet into the air and draws on the Danish company's previous Inventus and 9 megawatt platforms using advanced system designs like an efficient geared drivetrain, their cube power converter and their control system 8000. Now, Vestas designed the offshore turbine for high wind conditions, which is rated to withstand IEC-1 extreme wind conditions up to 110 miles an hour and IEC-2 of up to 127 miles an hour. The offshore turbine is available globally and said to offer 65% more energy per year than the previous model, and for a 900 megawatt wind farm using the turbine would raise production by 5% while using 34 fewer turbines. That is not a bad deal. In October 2021, Vestas announced that they would be installing the V236 prototype at the Osterlid National Test Center for large wind turbines in western Jutland, Denmark. So good luck to them. Number 6. GE Heliade X 14 MW In October of 2021, General Electric's awesome Heliade X prototype started operation in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. With this milestone, GE Renewable Energy has become the first company to operate a turbine at this power output. The Heliade X 14 MW is an upgraded version of the X 13 MW, which received its type certification in January of 2021, and certification measures have already been started for the newest model. A single turbine here can generate up to 74 gigawatt hours of energy every year, which saves up to 52,000 tons of carbon dioxide or the equivalent of removing 11,000 cars off the road for a full year. This one is also very efficient with a capacity factor of 60 to 64 percent. It's also got a 720 foot rotor and a 350 foot blade length and can be built as high as 850 feet tall. A single rotation of one of these turbines can generate enough electricity to power a household for two days with no problem. And although the Haliate X is best suited for medium to high wind speeds, its large capacity means it can produce electricity even at lower wind speeds, thus increasing profits and lowering the cost of the energy. It's set for commercial debut at the Dogger Bank Sea Offshore Wind Farm located off England's northeast coast, where GE Renewable Energy will provide all 87 of its new models. Number 5. Windmill 1500 Watt Wind Turbine Generator Kit More expensive than most personal wind turbines on the market, the Windmill 1500 Watt is also one of the most powerful and comprehensive wind generator kits available. Rated at 1500 watts with a cut-in wind speed of 5.5 miles per hour, this turbine can start generating power even with relatively low wind conditions. The windmill has a rotor diameter of 5.5 feet, meaning a large catchment area and a greater power generation compared to smaller models, which means more energy for you. It also has an automatic braking system, so no one has to worry about damaging surges of voltage with sudden gusts of wind. The turbine also comes with an MPPT charge controller that makes it super easy to hook up both this turbine and a solar array for a full off-grid power system. This kind of controller is known to be very efficient, ensuring your batteries charge up properly. Unlike some of the other previous personal models we've seen here today, this unit is primarily made with polypropylene and fiberglass, and it's finished with a weather-resistant coating, meaning it's built to last. Number 4. SG14 222DD when it was finally completed in 2021, the cleverly named SG14222 DD prototype became the world's largest and most powerful turbine to be installed, taking the mantle from that GE Haliate X. This model has a capacity of 14 megawatts, reaching up to 15 megawatts when using the company's power boost function. This model features a 730-foot diameter rotor and a 42,000-square-foot swept area. 
The 14 megawatt capacity allows one of these machines to provide enough energy to power approximately 18,000 average households every year, and approximately 30 offshore wind turbines could furthermore cover the annual electricity consumption of an entire city. That giant 730-foot diameter rotor uses the new Siemens Gamesa blades. Each of the 355-foot blades is cast in one piece using patented Siemens Gamesa blade technologies. This specific model is expected to be commercially available in 2024. How exciting! Number 3. Quiet Revolution Wind Turbines Okay, now it's time to quiet things down a bit. The Quiet Revolution is an awesome brand of vertical axis wind turbines owned since 2014 by VWT Power in the United Kingdom. Quiet Revolution's main product is the QR5, a vertical axis wind turbine with a helical design that's most similar to the Gorloff helical turbine. With a humble size of about 16 feet tall and about 10 feet in diameter, the QR5 is famous for being one of the easiest and most convenient wind turbines to transport and install, so it's definitely ideal for the most remote and narrow of places. Despite its relatively small size, the QR5 boasts of being able to generate as much as 8.5 kilowatts from winds at about 36 miles an hour, making it highly efficient and reliable. It's also very durable, as the QR5 is said to last for up to 25 years, with just annual inspections recommended for maintenance. The turbine's simple and beautiful helical design enables it to collect wind from all sorts of directions, while also lending dramatic aesthetic appeal to buildings. The Quiet Revolution really did start the revolution, and plenty of copycats have been made since its debut in the UK. Number 2. Chell Energy in Japan, a startup called Chal Energy has designed a turbine that works in cyclonic conditions, which typically shut down most wind installations, turning them into a potential energy source. While renewables in general are the fastest growing source of electricity generation globally, in Japan, most renewables capacity has been powered by the sun. It's only in recent years that the Japanese government started trying to promote wind, especially offshore. But with Japan experiencing on average 26 typhoons and tropical storms a year, and with meteorologists saying that they're getting more frequent and more powerful with climate change, the path to the development of wind power is generally viewed as pretty tough. Thankfully, Chal Energy is up to the challenge of energy, get it? By replacing standard blades with vertical columns, this Japanese-engineered turbine was created not only to withstand, but also tap into the energy from the destructive wind forces of typhoons. The company's founder has said that the energy generated by one typhoon, if all of it could be captured, could power up the entire country of Japan for 50 years. Though it's hard to miss, it appears more oversized egg beater than a breakthrough in wind turbine technology. It's still pretty cool. Number 1. Altaros BAT who said that all wind turbines need to be planted firmly on the ground? Altaros Energies is a company looking to quite literally take renewable energy to new heights with their wind turbines. Floating wind farms may seem like something out of a science fiction novel, but this MIT startup has already unveiled its enormous helium-filled wind turbine, which hovered at a thousand feet above the ground for a year and a half. The turbine, called the Alteros BAT, is part of a pilot program aimed at demonstrating that airborne wind turbines are feasible. And while the plan may have been set in motion by MIT geniuses, their idea is quite simple. A wind turbine is most efficient when its blades hit an optimal wind speed. The higher you go above ground, the more powerful the winds are typically. So naturally, wind turbine design has evolved to accommodate even higher altitudes. And the best part? This technology really isn't anything new at all. The mines at Alteros designed their BAT by adapting existing technology from Aerostats, the industrial cousin of blimps which have lifted heavy communication equipment into the stratosphere for decades. Aerostats are already a proven concept, rated to survive hurricane-level winds, and the BAT is designed to work similarly. In 2013, Alteros successfully tested a BAT prototype in 45 mile per hour winds and at a height of 500 feet at its test site in Maine. Three tethers keep the turbine from floating away, and also serve as conduits for bringing the generated energy back down to Earth. And besides generating power, these floating power plants can provide data coverage, cell service, and local weather data that can be deployed in harsh weather conditions. So they serve multiple everyday purposes, and are pretty cool. I'll see you next time. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.